Itch, and I'm here with Guy Williams from Nelson. Hi, it's Guy Williams from Nelson. Nice to see you. Hello, Guy. I'm, we're um, sharing a microphone, so I've got to be real close to it at all times. It's quite yeah. awkward. <laughs> okay, so first things first, yeah. how's your brother Paul? My, bro <laughs> My brother Paul is up in Auckland, bumming around, trying to be a rapper. We've got a new song coming out that I have, he's actually working on a beat that I made called The Pigeon Song. It's um, a song that I've written about pigeons. Um, but he, um, he's, he's, making, um, he's making beats all the time. Do you know him from YouTube? Yeah, we well, you have been on his YouTube channel. His rapping is great. Oh, that's nice. It's complimentary. Yeah, you can forward that to him. He's, right? he's, uh, he's a mixed bag at best. <laughs> For a white guy, he's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Real talk. Real talk. Um, what was your first job? Um, my first job was at McDonald's to Hunanui in Nelson, where I was um, not trusted being a, um, uh, a person out front serving people, which I, I, my dream was to go, hello, welcome to McDonald's, can I take your order? Yep. See, I'm really good at it, but um, I was um, in the back, because um, the uniform didn't fit me properly. I had like, because I'm so tall, I'm like yeah. six foot five, the, um, the, the, the McDonald's pants came down to like three quarter pants almost. And you could see my, I had white socks because I didn't own black socks. So I, um, I looked like a freak and so they put me at the back of the kitchen. So you were quite the cook. Yeah, and people always go flipping burgers, but you don't flip burgers at McDonald's. There's a two-sided grill. So I wasn't flipping burgers, I was pressing meat patties. Yeah. Quite a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so what did you do after school? Um, after school, I went to university which I would really recommend to people. Yeah, straight after school. I went straight there. There's no, there's no time to pussy around. If you yeah. wait around and think about whether you're going to do it or not, you might not get there. Yeah. You've got to get out of university. Um, it means you've got to take a loan, which is a big commitment, but um, it's a lot of fun and I definitely recommend it to everyone. I studied political science and, uh, um, and I, I dropped out of law and economics and all these things that were hard. I did political yeah. science, which was the easiest thing you can do at university, I think. Not yeah. easy, but... It doesn't sound easy because we put science on the end to trick people. Yeah. When really it's basically reading the paper studies. Yeah. If you're into politics, it is. If you're not into politics, it's boring as heck. My main advice would be watch out for um, drugs and alcohol. Is that a good thing to say? It's a good thing to say. Yeah, that's very good. I, um, I, I always am interested in the number of people in my profession. I can't really speak, I don't know about a lot of jobs, but so many comedians who are really talented, who never reach their um, full potential because they uh, have a problem with drinking. And you might not, you might, there might even be um, well-known comedians that you might have heard of. And you go, why isn't that person a worldwide star? They're so talented. Yeah. It's often because um, there's little things that are holding them back. And I often think drugs and alcohol is the biggest one. Um, it's, so that's my hot tip, stay off the drugs kids. Hi, we're at MediaWorks and I've just finished interviewing Guy Williams. He had some strong opinions about going to university straight after school. But even after all of that, I'm still happy with my choice to take a gap year. And if you liked watching this interview, like, comment and subscribe please. Free please.